Hey, hey, everybody. Monkey Puzzle here, and I am back with episode number 36 of Exploring Ragnarok. And I wanted to do some follow-up on the exploration I did of the whole new southwest quadrant of the map, which is all over there. I'm perched on top of my lighthouse here, which is now on the midwest coast. It used to be the bottom of the west coast of the map. But now it's mid, because there's all this new stuff. So we explored it all by Baryonyx. Took me five episodes. It was pretty fun. And it was a great way to get a lot of episodes out, too. Just checking everything out to Baryonyx. Baza or Baza. You have to tell me which way it goes. Did great. So now I feel like I've earned the right to do it on a flyer. And I got a bunch of great comments telling me things that I missed or that I should follow up on. There are things that changed. There was like updates on the updates. <laughs> so that's what this is. An update on the update. Like there were things like I'm about to show you that were not there when 265 first dropped, but then came with subsequent updates later and some things got fixed and some things got changed. And then there's some things I just didn't know about. There's some secrets, some hidden things. So first of them is over here on this island which is one of my favorite of the islands i mean i like them all this is the one that had the little garden of bushes and the orchard here and i've actually started to collect some tames over here because oh uh, one person uh, anonymous yak told me that if i took a good berry harvester let's take the stego most of these i grabbed because they were 150 or 145 and I wanted to have some utility dinos. That's a nice color, Pteranodon. I can't help but take a look. I've been finding lots of high-level things out here. And so I was motivated, though, to get a high-level berry harvester because he or she told me that if you take a good berry harvester over here, there's something special that you can get. So I found out I don't think that is the case, actually. When I do this... I get a bunch of normal stuff. So unless I'm missing something, and I tried the trees too, and they seem pretty normal. This would be a great spot though if you wanted to do like a narcotics farm or something like that, because where can you get this many bushes in that small of an area? So I just may put a little base on here because it's close to the lighthouse and it's got some utility that way. So that's pretty cool. Indeed, he's going to go back because he's following over here. But so I didn't see any special seeds or anything from that. If there is, let me know what I'm looking for because I missed it. But yeah, now I can harvest stone and metal and berries and stuff on this side of the map, which is cool. So this thing is the scene of a very big change. So we checked this out before and it is what you see or it was what you see before you, which is very cool. And Lucky Phil told me that a building fit right inside here before, but now apparently it's non-buildable because look at this. It has opened up. That was closed before. And uh, someone else, uh, Anonymous Yat, told me that uh, when you did the K orbit x-ray trick, you could look through here and see all this, but you couldn't have access to it. Well, now you can. So there is a, well, it's not completely hidden because there that sort of announces it. But yeah, it was kind of a secret at first because it wasn't there. And there's all this metal embedded in the walls along here. So I'm going to take that Anki and with my area of attack, I'm going to see exactly how much I can get in its range here. And if it's actually a viable way to harvest it or not. It looks like, you know, with a grapple hook and a good pick, you could get a lot of it. But that's still not the same as doing it with an Anki. So yeah, there's a big drop down the middle and the sides. You got to look out. But you can take these stairs all the way down here quite a ways. And there's some bones here. You can harvest and get some salt. Or were these ones harvestable? I don't know if you guys care, but... Uh, you need to verify for myself. Always need salt for um, preserving salts, which I like to use a lot. Now, these ones are just ornament, I think. But there are other places where you can. Anyway, 
this goes all the way down to here and terminates in this little water area. There might still be more changes coming. Right now, there's nothing too spectacular down here. It's not even really enough room to keep a water dino or anything like that. But it is cool. A Triceratops has called it base. I think, I think he's permanently stuck. He's been there the whole time. <laughs> but there's a few ways in there and there. Hello, Kimmy. You'll see that I'm recording so that when you watch this, so that's why I didn't answer. And I think you could break this rock right here. So you could make this like a dino garage of sorts. You still couldn't keep anything all that big in here. I wish they'd open this up just a little bit more so you could keep some bigger things in here. But anyway, it is what it is. And it's pretty cool. If not, I have to figure out if uh, there's a way to make it really, uh, you know, usable, utility space. But this in itself makes this island very desirable. I haven't checked to see if you can place parts on this or not. Um, but yeah, that is new. <laughs> so <laughs> absolutely cool. So that's one of the things I wanted to show you. Because that's a big change. That was definitely important. Oh, there you are. A little worried for a second that I had lost him. Okay. Let's drop a few things. And then continue on with the update. On the update. So let's move over here. To the crater lake. Uh, it was formed by the big meteor. This island and that island don't seem to have any predators of merit. I've seen maybe ichthyornises and pegomastixes, which are not really predators, they're just nuisances. But they're pretty safe, so if you want a real mellow base, these would be pretty cool. Down in here was where that... that... M meteor was, oh, and I got to show you, we added a new mod to uh, to the server. So this is the clear scuba mask mod, which is awesome. It don't have the overlay, and you can see very clearly it's a lot brighter uh, for a much farther distance. So uh, we'll take a look from the outside, too. Somebody asked me, I forget who it was, if I could... Let me uh, go ahead and put these on. Oops. Oh, well, might as well put this on. If I could harvest this black rock, because it looks like suspicious that there's something behind. And the answer is that you cannot. <laughs> so, unfortunately not. But let me get up out of here, and I'll meet you on the coast of this island. Yeah, I just wanted to show you what the ocean looks like now with this mod. And it's so awesome. I know that the water is supposed to be somewhat obscured, but why have all this beautiful, luscious water biome when you can't see it? <laughs> and videos, uh, you know, don't look very good that way either. So I'm all set for water exploration. Hopefully on my day off on Monday, we're going to do some recording. Maybe I can get a Raleigh or somebody or BLP to come with me. I guess uh, Aaron's having an eye problem, so he may not be able to. But I'm loving that. So it's a little cheaty, but I think it's worth it to be able to see down there. And come on, this is like a pristine, untouched terrain. There's no reason the water wouldn't be super clear. Oh, and also, speaking about clarity, with the upgrades, or the, um, the improvements on the FPS in the game, like I said, uh, I'm now getting, at the moment I'm getting 74, oh, now it's 96, 100 FPS on totally epic settings so i have moved my fps up to 60 so 
Uh, I'm going to record in 60 FPS in ARC for the first time. So see how that goes. Let me know if you see a difference. And hopefully I'll be able to maintain that. I know in a big, you know, complex base, I may not be able to do that. So let's head over here. And I want to show you something else that's new. Over here, this is the island that Bifun made his stable on. So let's go to where his stable is just to orient you. And I think he's made a few changes on that, but last I looked, it was nothing too big. Yeah. So that was where I crashed the night on the first night of exploration before I did the big epic uh, four episode exploration after that. But he told me that I had missed something over here. So let's go check it out. And look at that. He and Rimtus, who made that really, really beautiful base complex in the little lush waterfall on the west coast over there, um, they teamed up and made this lighthouse right here. So I think it's really beautiful. It's definitely a lighthouse. And up top, you can see some, like, the light vibrating. I think it's coming from these red lights that are from Eco's mods. Uh, they have a appropriate name. Let's take the uh, scuba stuff off now. What are they called? They're called red ground lights. So they're kind of like airport lights. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that should be very cool at night. I haven't seen it yet. But I just wanted to show off their build there. It's very fitting and very cool. All right, so let me head on here and to the next thing. I, there's a few minor things I could show you, but let's head straight over to the Wyvern area. Let me meet you there when I get a little bit closer. So while we're up above here, you can kind of see how all the pieces fit together. That island with the lighthouse islands connected to this whole big piece over here. And then there's that one here. And the carnivores get basically progressively worse as you go along. Where that was the big bad island with all the things on it. I didn't run into rock elementals when I was exploring. But I have seen that there are they are there since. And then it mellows out when you get to that one. And you get back to Jerboas and Dimetrodons. <laughs> so <laughs> there's that. And there's this big space in between. And then there between here and the lighthouse, there's this whole peninsula here and that little island. We didn't really check those out. I've flown over them a couple times since. I didn't see anything too remarkable with them. I mean, they're cool and beautiful. There's this little promontory right here. Oh, and this was a grassy plateau that I did a little episode break on before, and it was completely open and grassy. Now it has rocks, and it has a glaring bug before with some metal nodes that were hanging in the air, and those are completely gone. So here we are at the Wyvern area, this big rocky canyon with the water underneath. It took me a while to realize that this is is what it is <laughs> on the uh, first episode I was up to there and I didn't see until I was editing these little silhouettes of the uh, wyverns flying up above people have noted that this looks like a big elephant or mastodon here <laughs> on his four legs and his snout uh, so that's very cool so but I managed to get through this on my baryonyx pretty much unscathed and there are some things that I found and then folks pointed out to me afterwards. So up here, there's a bunch of little nooks and crannies. And I'm suspecting that these are where the nests are going to go for the wyverns. But like there's this whole area in here. And there's crystal spawns in here and a little uh, river going through it or creek, I guess, at this point, stream. Another way in there. And at the moment, the wyverns don't seem to go in here. But uh, yeah, this could be a good bet on where the nest could go. And then you can fly all the way out 
through there and probably other exits too. And it's kind of like when I discovered the temple is up over further this way through a creek uh, that went into a little tunnel. It's right there. Oh, and there's this whole thing. We're going to get back to the wyvern thing in just a second. Well, I guess I could have saved this. But there's this whole structure up here, too, which is pretty cool. I saw HOD Gaming pointing out that if you were a big alpha tribe, that would be a great place to have a very defensible base. Uh, among many other great places for that here. We are on PvE, not PvP. So that doesn't really matter so much here. And I am trusting that if I get into trouble here, my griffin is going to be good enough to get me out. So a couple folks, Drake Vanders, and then after that, uh, Lucky Phil, told me that I had missed something down here. So there is a little hidden spot down here that is very cool. Actually a very big, not completely hidden, but it is subtle to find the way in here. There's a purple crystal cave. And it's got these giant purple crystals everywhere, which are, I've tested, are not harvestable. I kind of like the ambience like this, but let's gamma up a little bit just so we can see. It kind of takes away from the mystique a little bit, but I want to be able to see what we're looking at here. Maybe get a torch out. So yeah, there is lots of harvestable crystal here. Harvestable bones, so you can get crystal and salt. I did some flying around in here earlier, and I didn't find like a passage that looked like the start of, uh, you know, an adventure tunnel. A cave with a relic. But it very well may be. It may not be finished yet. Uh, there might be some rock that's going to open up into one, or maybe this is what it is. And it might be here already, and it's just, I haven't seen it. Oh, I'm out of stamina, which is perfectly timed. Yeah, there could be a little dark crevice that I haven't seen yet. But for now, I think this is it. But yeah, this was a pretty significant thing that I had missed in that episode. So I just wanted to show that to you guys check it out with you. Let's f fly around a little bit more. See if we see anything else, but dang, if you need crystal, the place to go. Some of it is up <laughs> on the roof. Uh, let's do a quick check here for harvestability. Oop. I'm on the land. It's okay. Ugh. Sorry about your head in the wall. So these, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, are harvestable. And these, it'd be a matter of figuring out how to get to them. But let's just see if you did, if they are harvestable. Yes, they are. So, if you had, I guess, you can stand on the back of a griffin, or if you had a cat's platform, or... Somehow got a big dino up here you could stand, or maybe... Ah! <laughs> I'm stuck! Let me extricate myself somehow. There we go. A little collision issues there, but not too bad. I got out. Alright, well there it is, folks. Here is the Purple Crystal Cave. Let's check this, this, this little passage back here. Looks pretty significant, and I'm also sure that at some point this will be full of spawns, spiders, and bats, and all that kind of stuff that goes in caves that will make it not so easy to do this. And this is actually going back, I was going to say pretty far, but not that far. be interesting if you really wanted to be secluded, you could make little little bases back in those areas. That doesn't seem like it goes back any further either. Nope. Alright, so let me find my exit and we will move along. 
But very well done, guys. This is a really nice cave. And very good looking. And the way out is down here somewhere. Got to do it just right on a flyer so you don't get dismounted on the way out. And if it takes me too long to find it again, I'll just skip until it... But let's just give it a second. Oh, it's around here somewhere. There we go. I think that's the way out. So we've got to thread the needle here. And boom. It's all brightly lit. Let's get that gamma gone. And go check out a few more things. So that and the the little hidden ruins were the two main things I wanted to show you. Sometimes there's a little bug. This is not the right place to get it. Sometimes there's a little bug where I, I lose the ability to dive on my griffin. And this is, yeah, absolutely not the place to get that bug. <laughs> Everybody seems pretty far away right now, though. I find that sometimes landing do it. Oh no. This is scary. Hey, let's go out this way. As it's a little safer. Maybe if I unmount and remount, that'll do it. We'll see when we get outside. Yeah, <laughs> around all those wyverns. The dive little speed thing is quintessential. There we go. Got it back. So the last thing I want to show you guys is just to come through some of these areas that I kind of skimmed and to show you how beautiful they are. Like there's this whole approach to the Patreon temple here. This is very cool. And so that's a whole beautiful area attached to this little structure that I was talking about before. And there may be hidden caves and waterfalls and stuff that I haven't seen yet. Um, those will reveal themselves. And just want to take a little overhead flight here, too, of the Redwood area. Because at the end, I ended up cutting it into two episodes. But I was going on a 40-minute episode at that point. Trying to get all the way back. So I kind of raced through the Redwoods here. But I think this is one of the main features of it right here is just this lake that leads up to this waterfall and it's got these various arches going through it. I did check out this whole waterfall and couldn't find any way where it has a cave, although it kind of looks like it. Yeah. Very nice addition. More redwoods. Actually, didn't check about the... Oops sizes of the trees. Ooh, nice alpha rex there. These actually all look like small trees. I'm curious if there's any big guys in here that you can actually use for platforms, but at the moment I'm actually not seeing that at all. But let's see. Let's get a little altitude here. Just, let me see, some place I won't run into a tree. And get a, just a bigger look from overhead. See the wider expanse of the whole thing there. So yeah, this, here's the new redwood area, or at least the, the small redwood area. Well, it's not that small, but the trees aren't that big that I've seen so far. And yeah, that whole little complex with the temple and all these formations and so on. You can see all the islands and stuff like that. And then, yeah, up above, I think these were here before. Yeah, this is the route we took to the wedge. 
that shelter we made up in the murder murder snow which you can access up that way so and we saw the areas already that oh, stamina again so many things to keep an eye on when I'm trying to talk to you guys you handle that okay stamina restored no tragedy because of that let's just go through here in the episode I wasn't able to do this because there was an alpha hanging out and it seems to be a popular place for alphas their little hangout here but it was under here so there's just these nice formations here several of them they're pretty cool lead to this little valley out and that's just good looking there's a whole little series of them. Hello, Aloe. Come through here. It makes for a nice little adventure. Oh yeah, and there's this lake right here too. In this whole area. That's very pretty. But yeah, lots of nice additions. And now there's just so much stuff on this map. I mean, everything that took all the previous episodes before to explore is still there. Plus, there's all this stuff that took me... This is my sixth episode now, covering all this new ground. So, so much content in this map, and still more to be added. It's like so many of these places have... The devs have the intention of adding this whole little adventure overlay to it, where they use the whole explorer note system in order to create their own custom adventures and that lead you to places on the map where you have to go find stuff and it's just too cool so we'll see if they're able to pull that off because uh they just have to make sure that they can actually code it into game but yeah for now this is monkey puzzle signing out at my lighthouse again and thank you for watching until the very end of this one I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.